The stakes are high in this men's 10 kilometer championship event. The top four Australian men will head on to the World Cup event and then to the Tokyo qualifying event, which only one Australian will be able to qualify for the Tokyo Olympics. From about the two kilometer, Jordan Wilamonski from the US, who has already qualified for the Olympics, has wanted to hold a fast pace. He's been leading for the last six kilometers, whittling down this pack one swim at a time. It's down to about 16 swimmers, so I can only imagine it'll be five to 10 swimmers at the very end for that sprint finish. It does feel pretty good going through Pete. Um, you know, the first time I came here, I was a bit of an underdog. Every year it just gets bigger and better. So we have just passed the seven and a half kilometer mark for this women's 10 kilometer open water championship. And the pace has really picked up. At the front, we've got Chelsea Gubecker, Karina Lee, Hayley Anderson, and Ashley Twitchell. They're really putting the pressure down at the moment in this race. Yeah, it was a really tough race and, you know, it, you can't really break away from girls of that, that calibre. So it's, um, there was lots of fast bursts in there, but also some, some slower bits. And, you know, it, it was just really great to have some of the people that I am going to be competing against in Tokyo. Yeah, like everything's looking really good for Tokyo and, and it will be a really, really close race, I'm sure. Leading into it, um, I'll just be doing a few international competitions um, and then a bit closer trying to get some hot water training in because we're expecting the water temperature in Tokyo to be very warm.